everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Thanks so much for joining me today and welcome back to my channel. You guys, it's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and um, we are going to start off with our March card kit. And I'm super excited because this is so stinking pretty. Um, I absolutely love the um, the. The paper is by Stamperia Romantic Collection. It's Romance Forever. We have these beautiful little um, wooden embellishments. We've got hearts, frames, flowers, a stamp, and we've got our cards over here. And so, yeah, we're ready to go. So, um, we're just, I'm going to make a couple of cards today and just share with you some really, I guess, neat ways that you can make some cards using this collection uh, this kit so okay so let's go ahead and get started so to begin the cards you're you're going to grab the cards that are already in the kit and you're going to cut the two mats this top mat that i'm folding over is actually five by three and three quarters and then the foil mat is five and a quarter by four and you're just going to go ahead and attach those two together now when you do this try not to place any glue like underneath that fold back behind that fold and because you're going to go ahead and place some flowers down now i am going to use hot glue to adhere the flowers to the paper and as you see i don't have this attached to the card base yet it is just basically sitting um, with the two mats together okay and then i decided to go ahead and place that little heart that has little petals on it um, right on the bottom there and then i went ahead and grabbed two of the wooden pieces the x and the o and we are going to ink those okay it's going to be lightly inked and here i'm just go ahead and i'm placing my flowers around and getting ready to adhere everything down so next, uh, the little wood pieces here, I just went ahead and placed those in the ink it, themselves. I didn't have to brush it on or dab it on or anything, just placed it right in the ink and that was it and set them aside to dry. Here I went ahead and added a little flower to the middle of that heart and I just thought that that was so stinking cute. And then here I am getting ready to adhere these mats to the card base. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add on those little wooden pieces that we placed in the ink. And we're just going to go ahead and stick those down right there. Next, we're going to go ahead and start adding our flowers. And here, I'm just grabbing a few. Now, these flowers come in your card kit, as well as the wooden pieces and the paper pack. And I'm just fussy cutting out this little butterfly. I thought, you know, having a little butterfly on this card would be so pretty. And then I did do a bow, and I cut out another little paper heart, but I didn't end up using those. Um, I ended up just doing the butterfly, and that was it. <laughs> so... This paper collection is just beautiful and it's, I think it's one of my favorites. It's just so dainty, so feminine and just shabby. I love it. <laughs> and then I went ahead and stuck that little butterfly right there up in the top corner and we're done, you guys. No problem at all. Just an easy peasy card. Now we are on to card number two, and for this card, it is going to be an easel card, so you'll need two card bases for this card. One we're going to cut in half, so you'll have uh, two mats, basically. You'll just use one of these, though. And this one, uh, the full-length card, you're going to go ahead and fold the front part of that in half, so now you're going to make an easel card. Next, you're going to need a piece of strip of paper, uh, preferably a colored part, is 9 by 3 and this is like a light pink color that I just grabbed from my stash and you're going to go ahead and score it 3 and 6. You're going to grab your ruler and just make a diagonal line just like I did and then cut that off and then here I'm just using that other piece to go ahead and just make another diagonal line and cut that piece off. Now save these because you're going to use these to cut out your pattern paper to cover the front. 
Now here's where I'm just measuring. I measured the inside of that little pocket that we made and I'm just cutting down my paper and I'm going to go ahead and just place that right inside of there, right in the middle. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut off the excess. Okay, so instead of measuring and cutting it and all that, I just went ahead and placed it inside, and then we're just going to go ahead and cut that off. And then I went ahead and adhered the two flaps together. Next, we're going to go ahead and use those little triangles that we cut off, and we're going to go ahead and trace those, and we're just going to go ahead and place those on top of our pocket that we made okay and here that's just going to go right on top of there and then I went ahead and just used the other part of that and went ahead and cut that down now I did leave some of that off because basically one side's going to be covered the, the other side you don't really need to cover the whole thing so I just did like a little bit less than um I didn't go all the way to the end <laughs> so so basically you're just going to go ahead and adhere that on just like that okay and then you're going to go ahead and do the other side super easy peasy you guys so after you adhere this piece on we're going to make a little tag to go on the inside now you don't have to make a little tag if you don't want to you can make a little card to go on the inside or you could just leave it and place a little gift card inside of it if you want to it's totally up to you um you do want to go ahead and adhere the bottom of that little pocket i don't think i showed it on the screen but you'll want to go ahead and adhere the bottom of the pocket so that way you know nothing slides all the way through Next, I went ahead and added my two mats together. And again, these mats are uh, four, five and a quarter by four. And then the second mat, which is the top mat, five by three and three quarters, okay? And so they're adhered together. And we're just gonna go ahead and place those on top of the card mat, okay? Which is the base of the card, okay? Now, after I was done making the pocket, I did go ahead and attach that to like a, a just a regular plain cardstock, which is the same color that I'm using uh, as one of the mats for the card. And um, I just went ahead and just trimmed around it. I didn't really measure it out. I just kind of eyeballed it and and then just trimmed around it like you see me doing here. And um, I did that so it would at least have a little bit of color so it wouldn't blend, the pocket wouldn't blend into the background of the card. And it really did make a difference. So I really like how that looked. Now you're just going to go ahead and adhere that down to the middle of the card, just like that. Okay. And then now you can decorate this however you want. We're going to go ahead and place some glue on that flap that we folded over on the front of the base of the card. And then you're going to go ahead and just attach that um, card base, the one that has all our mats on it. You're going to attach that on there. And that is your easel card. Next, I went ahead and decorated the inside. Because this is an easel card, it will be standing upright. So people will be able to see the inside and the outside. So it just helps to finish everything off. I went ahead and fussy cut out that little thank you that is in the card kit that's the in the paper collection and I went ahead and stuck that on there and I thought this was a really sweet thank you card I thought you know what that's a really pretty thank you card so I'm gonna go ahead and do that <laughs> so so next I went ahead and again I added the white to one of the back of the uh, pink light pink cardstock that I was using. I just thought that that pink was really pretty. And I thought, you know, I already added it to everything else. I might as well go ahead and add it to the the um, little area where we're going to put our sentiment, right? Or write our little note. So here I did go ahead and fussy cut out this little flower. I thought it was so pretty and I like to decorate the inside of the cards to just kind of make them look finished. And so I went ahead and just glued that down flat. I didn't add any um, foam tape on anything. And um, I went ahead and finished this off with some flat back pearls around the pocket. 
So yes, I did bring in my hot glue gun and I placed my pearls down and I really felt that this just gave it that really nice dainty look. And here I'm just placing a little piece right here on the pocket and that's done. So, so pretty. So now you can go ahead and you can decorate the front however you'd like. So here I'm just adding my little tag to the inside of that little pocket and um, it's gonna be so cute. So I went ahead and did a little eyelet. I have tons of eyelets. I don't know if y'all have <laughs> a ton of eyelets. I have so many in my stash that I have been using for years and I just feel like um, I can't seem <laughs> to um, get rid of them no matter how many times I use them but that's okay um, you know what they're always useful right then I added a ribbon right on top of that little tag and it sits right there and next we're going to add a little flower and that little for you sentiment right on the front of the card I did use some foam tape to just kind of pop up the sentiment and the flower and then we are done with this card so cute super super easy i mean you know it didn't take that long to do um i think the longest part to, to do was probably uh fussy cutting out some of the items <laughs> but it was so easy you guys um yeah so i hope that you guys like the tutorial so far using this paper card or this card kit um it is one of my favorites it's so pretty now we're on to card number three and again you're going to need one of the card bases from your card kit you're going to cut this off at two so at one of the ends there on the card you're going to cut it off at two which leaves you a half a strip in the front of your card okay and then here we're going to go ahead and use the stamp that comes in the card kit this is like a doily stamp it is so pretty y'all so i went ahead and embossed this doily stamp onto my cardstock and I went ahead and grabbed uh, cut out some of my pieces of my card stock the pattern paper and I went ahead and just inked up on Versamark and then placed the stamp down on top of the little strips that I cut out now the little strips are for they're going to be the panels that go ahead and go on top of our our card okay so you'll see here in a minute how we're going to use these so for this mat this is the, the mat that goes in the inside of the card and we're also going to go ahead and use the embossing uh, for this one so again I inked up my little stamp there and then went ahead and placed some gold embossed embossing powder on top of there and just heating that up and this turned out so pretty I'm telling you this little stamp I was really amazed how good the print came out. It is really, really pretty, and I really like it. So I'll be probably using it again on some more cards. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and stick down our embossed paper here. Okay, I went ahead and did the foil paper already, and I used gold. Uh, and then here I'm using um, the panels. The mats that we made and I'm just going to go ahead and place those on top of my card here I used a floral mat on the front of that I thought it looked so pretty so I couldn't pass up using that here we're using one of the chipboard frames that comes in the kit okay and I went ahead and measured it and I was going to do it that way but what I did is instead is I took one of the papers from the collection and made little dots all the way around the inside of the holes from the frame and then I went ahead and connected all the dots Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fussy cut this out and then we're going to go ahead and just adhere this to the back of the frame. Okay, just like that. And you're just going to go ahead and add your glue and you're just going to go ahead and place that on there. Fits perfectly and I just think this frame is so gorgeous. And I went ahead and just left it like it was because um, it is so pretty. And I so I didn't paint it or do anything to it. 
I went ahead and used one of the little heart that has the petals on it, placed that in there, placed one of the peace sentiments on there, and then we're going to go ahead and place some double back tape on only one half of the side of this, okay? Because it's going to cover that front part, um, that one half panel there that you've got on your card, okay? Because uh, So you don't need glue all over it. You just need glue on that one half side. And I apologize for being out of the camera, but you're just going to go ahead and stick that down. And then I did fussy cut out that bird, and I placed that right on top of that little frame there right above the heart. I just thought that was so pretty. So next what I did is I had some of these little flat back um, pearls from Renee Bouquet and I just went ahead and placed those on top of the frame. I thought that these were so pretty and they're like a blue and pink, kind of a mixture of colors and they're just really light colored and they were they just went well, really well with this paper collection. They're so pretty. So I just went ahead and stuck those on around the card. Next, I went ahead and I wanted to decorate the inside of the card. That flower that I had earlier was too big, so I went ahead and stuck <laughs> a smaller one instead and then added two little uh, beads at the bottom of the card, and we are done. Okay, so we finished three cards today, and I think all three of these turned out so great. Um, we used, this one was our first one where we made a little pocket and used some of our flowers um, from the kit. And then we cut out this little butterfly. I used this beautiful paper that has like the letters on it. It says, your friend, and then it says the person's name. Um, we inked up this XO with some pink um, ink, and that was let's see what ink that was spun sugar, and that was um, the distress oxide ink. And then on the inside, you can go ahead and decorate this however you would like. The second card we did was this cute little pocket card that has a for you on it and then a little tag that comes out that you can also go ahead and put like a little gift card behind here or what have you. And um, I just thought that was super cute. And then we popped up this little flower and then it turns into a easel card. And how cute is that? And it says, thank you. And then on the inside, you can go ahead and write your message. And so I just thought that was super cute. And um, then there's the last card that we did using one of the chipboard frames and a little piece sentiment. We used one of the little hearts and I fussy cut out this little dove. And um, on the inside, we went ahead and used the stamp that came with the set, with the kit. And I just thought this little um, this little stamp is super cute. It's a little doily stamp. And so many uses for it, y'all. Um, such a great little stamp that you have here to decorate your inside of your cards, your panels, or, you know, anything, your, you know, cards. So I just thought that this was super cute little card. Um, I hope that you guys like today's little tutorial. And um, yeah, let me go ahead and pan out so you guys can see all three of these cards. <laughs> so there we go. So there are all three cards that we did. And I think they each turned out so pretty. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this gave you some inspiration on what to create with your card kit for this month of March. Thanks again. I'll have all the links down below for you. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks so much for joining me today, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos, tutorials, YouTube hops, and my Friday Night Lives at 4.30 Central Time.